Well, Kevin, thank you very much. We're thrilled to have John, who's with us. He's a writer, producer, director of a film entitled In Search of St. Francis, and we're all big fans of St. Francis here. It's about the historical events in the life of St. Francis. And, and John, thanks so much for being with us today. And uh, St. Francis is, is one of the beloved saints. What made you decide to tackle a, a film about him? Well, it goes back to my conversion years. I wasn't really uh, Catholic. I wasn't born as a Catholic, so I went to a Christian school till fifth grade. Um, and then the revolution happened. In Iran. You in were in Iran, Iran yeah. The Islamic revolution happened. Um, so we had to leave. And um, we had to leave for Paris. I went to Paris for four years to get the green card. So all those years I forgot Jesus. I mean, the whole revolution cut me off from Jesus. Mm -hmm. I forgot about Jesus. I even forgot about God. I didn't even realize God was there. Um, so that, that went on until I entered graduate school. And my dissertation advisor was a prominent Catholic. And I started talking with him about God and about Jesus and about Catholicism. I had only one question. That's how it began. I said, if God exists, why did he let World War II happen? Hmm. So that really l led on to a whole summer of discussion. And that's how I became a Catholic. Mm -hmm. And then I started going with him to Catholic Church and everything. So that's how I became a Catholic. I think that's when St. Francis walked into my life. Hmm. And St. Francis, now his name was John. His name too, was John. But was what was it about his life in particular that attracted you so much to him, that fascinated you so much? Well, I went through different phases. I mean, in the beginning, I was St. Peter denying Christ. Then I was St. Paul, who was right there on fire. And then Francis was about peace. I read his famous peace prayer, and I think it just struck me that night when I read it. And I realized that St. Francis is probably the most incredible saint. Then I read more and I realized it's about simplicity. It's not about, you know, great cars or big house. It's about simplicity. Just being able to live in nature, enjoying nature. And of course in California, you have Yosemite, you have Pacific Ocean, so in that phase, I just really loved nature, and Francis spoke to me, and I think uh, I even, I would say, I had a mystical you know, experience there with St. Francis um, and nature and what, peace. What would you, uh, how would you describe the film? What will people experience when they watch the film? What will they see? I think the best thing, I think I would answer that um, through St. Francis, his own words, he called himself a fool for God, which is amazing. And uh, what does a fool for God mean? It means someone who will do anything for God. Like St. Peter, he was willing to lay down his life for Jesus. Uh, and that's from St. Francis. He was such a fool that during the fifth and sixth crusade, he went all the way to Damietta, Egypt. We don't have that anymore, except mm -hmm. Pope Francis. He, if I may say so, he's a fool for God as well. And uh, when you think about it, our problem today is that we don't have enough fool for gods. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think people, I hope, will take that into hearts and mind that uh, St. Francis was a fool for God. And in, and in making the film, John, was there something unexpected you discovered about yeah. this simple but great saint? Well. One thing that I really, the, the, when I, the first part, the, I put my camera on my shoulder, and the title of the film exactly is what it is. I put the camera on my shoulder, and I went out to discover Francis. I mean, Francis has been with me for 20 years, you know? And I went to find him out. And the first thing I saw, I was invited to the block party of the Friars of Renewal in the Bronx. And it was amazing. I mean, Father Lewis was playing the saxophone, and Brother Luke was playing the, you know, guitar, and they were singing, when the saints go marching in. And everyone there was with poor and marginalized, hamburger, hot dogs. I mean, Franciscans do exist today, and Francis is not dead. I think that was amazing to see that. Um, the third order, the lay order, Secular Franciscans are really doing amazing work. That exists. And um, 
I was aff aff affirmed to me that Francis is alive. So it's very, it was a very moving experience for you to film this. Absolutely. Yeah. Both mentally, as well as soul, as well as heart, you know? Now back to the Pope. I got to ask you about the Pope, because you mentioned him being a fool for Christ as well. Obviously, he took the name Francis because of his respect for the simplicity and holiness of this man. But what other similarities do you see? Everything. <laughs> Everything. That's actually not a fair question. Uh, because everything between Francis and the Pope is the same thing. To be honest with you, this, they're so similar that I, I would not be surprised if Pope Francis gets a stigmata as well. Um, if you look at his Care for the Home encyclical, Laudati C, you'll see that it's divided into two different parts. The first part is all about nature and global warming and climate change. And the second part is about the poor and the vulnerable. Mm. And it's funny because when I was in California, it was a nature. But then when I came back to New York, it was a culture shock because all I saw was the poor and the vulnerable in the street, mothers with the kids needing money, needing food. Um, that's what the encyclical is about. Mm. Pope Francis experienced it, you know, saw it. And he wrote it in his encyclical, and that's what Pope Francis was, I'm uh, sorry, St. Francis was about. Hmm. Well, we're running out of time, John. In search of St. Francis, where can people find the, the film? Uh, the film, you can reach me at uh, John dot Walker Films, NYC, and dot com. Very good. Well, John, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for taking on this. It uh, seems like a great project. Look forward to Thank seeing you. it. We'll be back with more of This Is A Day right after this. My